I'm here doing a priest commission uh, that is titled as uh, Murder in Three Acts and it's a, it's a live performance uh, and filming, so we are filming uh, at the fair. Uh, we have this booth at the fair and like uh, the audience can see us filming and uh, so we are making three episodes one episode each day and at the end of the day we just uh, have our rough cut and show it uh, next day uh, as we are filming the second episode. Uh, so the project, the, the murder, uh, murder in Three Acts is, about, is, a, um, is an attempt to compare um, the representation of science in uh, crime dramas uh, and the, the, and the um, the artistic process, how an artwork is getting credited as an artwork. Uh, so we are we we aim to compare it by building up two sets. Uh, one is uh, fun one functions as the art space, and one as the forensics lab. And um, forensics is a very interesting thing because I find it really re related to uh, reenacting by. Uh, Judge, um, judging from the objects, like all the remains, and uh, it's like a reenactment re of history. And uh, this is also related to my previous works. Like I'm really uh, interested in history and how history is being interpreted by different individuals. And uh, why I am interested in forensics is also because there are, there are certain characters in this in these kind of dramas where only one person is able to see the truth by examining the evidences and the murder weapons and uh, so these professionals are actually of course actors and they are just like representing how a scientist would act that's why I find this really amusing because as they are uh, trying to find the truth they are actually uh, utilizing all the fake tools and also all the fake language uh, that mystif that kind of you know uh, plays with science, and um, also I, what I find it's similar with art is like uh, as this scientific language, for instance, language base like art has a certain language too, and also the science, and so in in the script we are trying to you know uh, clash them and uh, show this difference like because one one's character one character talks about the um, uh, about science and scientific evidence and then the others uh, reads the press release of an art project so it's like these two different worlds somehow you know come together and also I'm interested like how an object become an object how like for instance this tube is just a tube it's not an artwork unless I claim it as an artist that it's an artwork and then a professional an art professional should accept that it's an artwork and should provide me a, a place or uh, to show it or you know to write about me a, a critic if we are talking about a critic or if we are talking about a collector should buy me so it's like then my artistic value is being legitimized it's like I'm just interested in like how this mechanism works like in both the scientific way and artistic way this is how uh, this is what we are trying to find out by making this film Scene four, slate one, take one. A cam. Episode one, scene four, slate one, take one. B cam. And action. I studied cinema in Istanbul uh, and uh, I've been doing art for the last 10 years and um, my medium varies from film installation and uh, even sound installations so it really depends on the project.
Uh, but in the last two years, uh, I'm more. I I find it uh, intriguing to make uh, to do performances and more filmic projects. So the next project I'll be doing is about archaeology and how archaeology, uh, just like forensics, can be a tool that legitimizes some unreal events. Uh, so I'd like to make an ex exhibition in Istanbul at my gallery, uh, Gallery Non. Um, having this argument about with with archaeological with the re replicas of archaeological uh, findings because i mean in i'm i'm as i said before i'm really uh, into history of uh, westernization of turkey because during this period uh, i mean just right after ottomans uh, archaeology was used uh, to to find the root for the Turkish people. So now, like even even now in history books, we are taught that we are actually coming from Hittites and Sumerians and even Egyptians. So it's like really confusing things. Like and uh, and during that time, all the excavations uh, tend to find uh, proofs, you know, to legitimize this uh, false uh, idea. And now it is changing again with the new government and everything. It's like now they are more into uh, different things, like more Islamic culture uh, remains. Islamic culture remains, and so it. I mean, the history of Turkey keeps changing, and I'm really interested on you know what kind of tools do the institutions employ to legitimize some unreal events. Okay, lovely. Here we go. Nice and quiet, please. And roll camera, roll sound. Sound speed. And episode one, scene four, slate one, take two, A cam. And B cam. And action. Roll. 